converting naira to dollar is not you know hello guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be talking about your application and i'm going to be talking about finalizing your choice of school there are so many things that contribute to that by now i'm assuming you visited some schools website and you already know what they require of you what they want you to provide before you can be recommended for an admission which is usually the statement of purpose cv or your resume score reports transcripts a lot of things and some of them wants you to show proof of financial support maybe you already know that you'll be able to meet up like you can you, everyone should have a cv right um your transcript hopefully you have them you already checked the gpa you are in that range whatever they want you're already in that range so now the big question is finances how am i going to finance it how am i going to fund it maybe you have little or no money or like and you feel that the school is really really expensive the good news is that as a graduate student you can get some support from your school in the form of research assistantship and teaching assistantship which is usually called gta and gra the g there means graduates most master students get the graduate teaching assistantship and some of them get the other one so how do i get it that is the big question not all schools even give that to their students i'm not sure anyway so you need to look for schools that are willing to support their students with that also need to know that it is very competitive like a lot of people want it so it's not you your your application has to be very good but the good thing as well is that you don't need to know anyone you just need to merit it and there is hope of you getting it how do i know my school offers such funding you need to go to the website of your school the school you intend to apply to you need to see if they have such offers available for their graduate students and if they do some will require you submit a separate application for that why others as at the time you are trying to submit your regular application they will ask you do you want to be considered for a teaching position or a research position just tick yes and when they are done with your application like when they are done processing it and they give you feedback like tell you if they accepted you or rejected you some will also attach the letter of the offer to you some will not talk about funding until you receive your admission letter then in your letter they, they will kind of like tell you if you want to be considered for such position you can email your potential advisor or your temporary advisor to to let them know that you're interested in getting such positions and if there is any available they'll get back to you stuff like that so it will be up to you to email them and all that so you need to be sure if you know you don't really have enough money to finance your education or you have the money and you want to do that for experience purposes and all that feel free to apply for one and feel free to look out for schools that have those fundings available okay take for instance on the website you don't find anything about funding and you really like that school and maybe you don't even have the money like all the money is too expensive for you kind of and you need some kind of support from the school so try to email them and ask them if they have such offers available then take advantage of it so having said that let's assume now that the funding aspect is settled or you have so you have an assurance of how you're going to fund your education without needing any support from your school then let's talk about the application as the whole the number one thing i have on my list is statement of purpose this is where you have to sell yourself short form is like sop this is where you tell the school what your research interest is what you in fact who you are like this is where you you market yourself take it really serious take all your time use all your energy and write it you don't want to mess up if your undergrad um, grades are not so great like your gpa is very low this is where to explain this is where to explain what happened 
what why you didn't meet up this is where to show who you are how hard working you are this so please go to google and type sop statement of purpose and see what it's all about try to look at samples don't copy and paste or just look for samples and try to recreate your own take it very seriously it's it contributes like a good percentage of whether you're going to get an admission or a rejection later so you don't want to play with it number two here is your cv or your resume not all school requires this but if your school does please try to reach out to some professionals to help you look at the cv to make sure it is good enough to get you your admission later the next thing on my list here is letters of recommendation this is very important you need to go back to your undergrad professors like your bsc when you were doing your bsc those who taught you those professors who knows you very well who knows your intellectual abilities in fact everything about you how hard working you are your weaknesses all those kind of things people that you know they will write good things about you because this is a part of your application process and you don't want to mess it up you don't want to be denied admission just because someone wrote something that doesn't really make sense about you so you need to look out for people who are looking out for your success having said that let's move to the next thing on the list which is transcripts your official transcripts or unofficial transcript most schools will require to submit the unofficial ones when you are submitting the applications so it's when you have gotten the admission they'll ask for the official transcripts and one thing i'm going to mention about this transcript is that most schools or let's say some schools they want you to get an evaluation since you are coming in with an international credential they don't really know the equivalent in usa system so they want you to evaluate your result kind of convert it if you have it like in 5.0 want it to be converted to 4.0 and kind of stuff like that so if your school requires you to evaluate your results or convert it kind of you need to check out with them like check on their website or email them and ask them which of the evaluation services do they want you to use you don't want to end up using a different one when they want a different one not because your friend used ECE you want to use ECE maybe your school requires WES so you need to confirm with them and make sure that this is what they want and if your school doesn't require it fine you can submit your own official transcript and start talking to your undergrad school to get ready to give you the official one the unofficial transcripts are actually the ones that you have by yourself like maybe when you graduated your school gave you and all those kind of stuff then you just have to upload it directly the official one means that it comes directly from your school to them it is sealed and stamped by your school so you need to know the difference between unofficial transcript and official transcript another thing is official ets score reports this is from gre or tofl some schools require like you need to write this exam so you need to make sure you register for these exams and score very well don't play with this exam please make sure you write them and do so good in this exam for TOEFL some schools might waive it for Nigerians so this is another good thing you you don't need to write TOEFL if your school actually waives it how do you know that your school waves it you need to check their website they might have a list of countries where they don't require you to take TOEFL and you need to email them if you are confused like you didn't see it on their website you need to email them i did that when i was applying for mine i emailed the school and i told them i'm blah 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 i'm this i'm from nigeria do you require nigerian students to take TOEFL then wait for their response if they say no we don't then fine you are good to go another thing i'll be talking about is application fee yeah applying to these schools is not free of charge you'll be required to pay an application fee when you are submitting your application so that they can process it usually application fees are like 35 dollars 20 dollars hundred dollars one hundred and something dollars so it depends on the school you are applying to so if you're planning to apply to like four or five schools get ready to pay all the application fees i know a few schools are free anyway but majority of the school requires you to pay an application fee so get ready to pay then i want to talk about another thing which is 
interview some school requires skype interview you're going to be doing an online interview with them not all schools so make sure to know if your school requires an interview so i'm going to be talking about evaluation fee i mentioned that some schools want you to evaluate your result and all that like convert it it is not free of charge most of these evaluation companies they are going to charge you a fee for evaluating your results and it's usually depends on the kind of evaluation you'll be doing but most schools will require that you do the cost by cost evaluation just prepare to pay some fee which is going to range from like 100 and something to 200 and something dollars some will go as high as 300 and something dollars depending on what you are ordering in your application so try to check with your schools to know which evaluations are accepted so that you use the right one like i said earlier get ready to pay that money for now that is what your application checklist looks like that is everything that it entails i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up that is like it subscribe and share with your friends so the next video i'm going to be talking about your expenses what you need to budget for before leaving nigeria what you will spend in nigeria and what you will spend when you come here so catch me in my next video